Consuming the echoes of the rhythms, where the pink flower storms gather between the aisles of the project buildings, the high grass never manicured, swinging the wind, rolling as if they were the ocean waves crashing down on the sidewalk, and the black boy holds his head high in the sky. A short poem from Naya Perez's Hood Flowers Among Ocean Fields. I'm Naya Perez, a Brooklyn-based multidiscipline artist. I was born in LA, raised between Columbus, Ohio, Camden, New Jersey, New York, and all those places played a big role into who I am. And that's what really plays an effect into my artwork when I think about like, what's a shared experience? What's a um, moment in time that like, can be felt? So it doesn't matter if my painting took place in Pico Boulevard in LA or um, Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn because like that sense of time can find its own way into someone else's like memory and some, somebody else's experience. I chose the title of this piece, What You Know About Love, because with all my artwork, I always try to connect it to like music that's like vital to me at that time. And I wanted to make a piece that was like dedicated to Brooklyn. I chose Pop Smoke in a way that is like, he's not from Flatbush, he's from Canarsie. But also I think about like the importance of like his music and his influence it has. In the short amount of time he was putting out music leading up to his final moments, how quickly his legacy was felt this was something like greater than just music. This was like a shared experience. And that's like a segue into like this piece. Instead of like it being like an intimate moment between individuals, I wanted it to be like an intimate moment between a like community space. I identify myself as an artist who is like a multidisciplinary artist. I start with like the moment in time, the experience, the memory, the narrative first, and everything else that follows is like by any means necessary to create that moment. It could be like a draw in the form of a drawing, photography. I think back to music a lot because that was like a huge part of my life growing up that would influence my art. So even when people was like, oh, it's a painting or like collage, to me it was more than that. It was like my own form of remixing and sampling instead of me trying to produce a beat and rap over it. I'm doing the same exact thing with my artwork, but in a different format. So now I'm just like sampling the sand that I collect from Coney Island or like these old hip hop magazines I inherited from my older brother. I'm taking photography of the community around me. I'm collecting MTA cards that I might be using to get myself around my daily life. And then that, that experience would be pulled out and sampled from to use for my painting later on or my drawing or whatever it is I choose to do as an artist. This one I went like kind of like that summertime series kind of vibe where it was like grittiness that I always appreciate. Got a little creative of like, oh yeah, I'm collecting like Pepsi bottles and a little Nathan's hot dogs um, right, rap right. rappers. I think it's amazing. I feel like I'm there because I've been to Coney Island several times. But the fact that you have those actual personal elements just make it even better. I want that sense of community and that sense of um, experience connect back to home in some way. That feeling of like the love, intimacy, or the feeling of the community, I think it's kind of like a magical moment. And it's bigger than just like representation of seeing like black people on paintings or within an art space. I also want it to be like something that's more, something like that connects to a memory. That can be me and my friend playing together. Oh, no, no. Hey! or this is the street where I spent my childhood. Like, I want that moment to be felt. People always ask me who my audience is. My audience, first and foremost, was always other black people beyond myself. Even though I start with myself from my own experiences or my own memories or my close friends, it's just bigger than that. And I want people to uh, hopefully, when they see any work that I do, they can find a little bit of themselves in the work. <laughs> 